Hi. I'm just going to show you how I'm uh, getting the lionfish out of the water down here in Jamaica. This is, uh, these are the spears that I've made. These are half inch dowling uh, bought at Home Depot in Ancaster, Ontario. This is, uh, each one is uh, drilled holes in the end, in both ends actually, in case, like this one has already been smashed up a bit and got loose. So I just put the archery tip in the other end. These screw in. And then I taper it down with my knife. So you get a pretty good arrow. And uh, it's good enough. It goes into the fish and shh. And this is the shooter I'm using. I've got two different kinds. This is uh, just, uh, these came down in pieces so that I wasn't carrying a weapon. I was carrying a bit of plumbing stuff, a hose clamp, and some surgical tubing, and the cap of an insect repellent bottle, and a roll of duct tape. Uh, this is another one. Just I think this one might even work better because it's just a bit longer, so I can make the arrow go a little straighter. But regardless, these are um, they're wooden dowels, so as soon as you let them go underwater, they go and they start to float. So fortunately, the uh, lionfish is uh, a fearless creature until it realizes it's being hunted. That is, but they're fearless and they just sit there and look at you and go, "Yeah, what? I got poisonous spines." And then you come up really close like this and go into the fish. Then what I do is I get it, I've got it on here and I quickly take it up to the surface before it wriggles off, take my spear, jam it through like that to push the fish onto the well onto the, onto the uh, dowel. Then take the dowel and put it in like this at the front, rather than put it up in these elastic bands so all the elastics are for. Well, it's not until they break. I have bags full of elastic bands. And then, with the fish safely out in front, I take this, remove another one, another arrow, and fill it up. What happens is that when I get when I get five, six fish, which is enough to carry, I'll stick it like this, carry it back into shore, and then we trade them in for beer and massages, or give them away to friends, or eat them. And that's the story of the lionfish. All right.